All right, this is how to install Cyanogen Mod 11 on a Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, keep in mind, this method will only work on the T-Mobile variant of this device. So if you have a different model from a different carrier, please do not use this method because it will break your device. Now, the T-Mobile version is model SGH-T989, and you must have that model for this method to work. So, before we start doing anything, we're going to need to prepare your computer um, for flashing. So, the files you're going to need, or the software you're going to need, is, for one thing, the Samsung Mobile USB driver. Now, I'll put a link to all this software in the video description, so, yeah. Alright, so, the Samsung Mobile USB device driver, which is an installer package, so you'll just run the installer, and that'll be it for that one. Um, the next piece of software you'll need is called Odin. Um, as you can see, I have it right here. It will be linked. Um, and then the files you'll need to flash to the device are as follows. First off, you'll need this file. Recovery Clockwork 6.0.3.1 Hercules.tar You'll need Recovery Hercules 6.0.4.3.zip um, You'll need this, which is the uh, uh, stock ROM. I'll explain that later. Um, these two are, this is just an extracted version of this zip, so yeah. Um, you'll need the Sanogemon 11 ROM zip. And lastly, you'll need the KitKat G apps uh, zip file. Alright, so before you start flashing, you're going to need to make sure your device is running the latest version of the stock ROM. So to verify that, you're going to go to settings, scroll down to about device, and make sure it says Android version 4.1.2 right here. That is the latest version and you must be running that version for this to work. So, go ahead and go back. All right, so if you do not have this version of the stock ROM, you're gonna need to flash it. Now, if you do, you can go ahead and skip this part of the video, but if you don't, go ahead and follow these steps. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is shut the device off. and you're going to need to put the device in download mode. Now to do that, you hold down the volume up and volume down buttons as you're plugging in the USB cable. So I'm going to do that real quick. It requires two hands. All right, so once you do that, you'll see this screen. Go ahead and select volume up to continue and it will say downloading on the device. So now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open Odin and you should see your device listed right here. Click the AP button, browse to your extracted stock ROM zip and locate the tar.md5 file and click open. Now just wait a second, it will take a couple seconds here. Alright, and once you see it listed here, you can go ahead and click Start. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So, um, yeah. So, once you're done with that, it should reboot the device, and you should be able to boot up successfully into the latest stock ROM. Now, if it will not boot up successfully and just get stuck on a Samsung logo, and the keys down here aren't lit up, um, you're going to need to do this next process. Let's go ahead and unplug the device and shut it off if it's on the Samsung logo. So I'm going to do that. Just hold on the power button. And hold down the power button and volume up and volume down buttons before the Samsung logo appears. And um, after this point, you will see a screen. I kind of messed mine up by accident, but um, you will see a screen 
that says um, wipe data slash cache slash factory reset just scroll down to that option press the power button you can scroll down using the uh, volume up and volume down buttons and the power button selects the option and scroll down to wipe data slash factory reset press the power button scroll down to yes press the power button once that finishes scroll to reboot system now and press the power button and it will boot up successfully and it'll bring you to a first time setup sort of thing but anyway once you get into the stock ROM you can go ahead and shut down the device again and um, I'm actually going to resume the video and take out the battery so it shuts down completely so yeah be right back alright so once you've booted back up successfully into the stock ROM you're going to want to go ahead and plug the device into your computer and you'll see this screen go ahead and select turn on USB storage just wait alright and once it is connected go ahead and select open folder to view files and what I've done is just made a folder called KitKat just to make everything a little more organized. But you don't need to do that. But if you want to, go ahead and make the folder. And you're going to need to put these three files in it, or on your SD card without a folder, as I said before. You're going to need the Recovery Hercules 6.0.4.3.zip, um, the CyanogenMod 11 ROM, and the GApps uh, for KitKat. So those are over here, and I've already copied them onto the device. And you can actually get these files um, from these two links, which I will post in the description. Um, you can get the... Uh, whoops, I accidentally closed it. Hold on. So you can get the uh, Synergen Mod 11 Nightly ROM here. Um, from what I, from my experience, the nightly ROMs work just fine, but there is no fully stable release of Sanogen Mod 11 yet, I guess. But you can just go ahead and download the uh, nightly versions. They seem to work just fine. Now you also, of course, need the GFs package, which you saw before, and you can go ahead and download it from this link right here for Sanogen Mod 11. So yeah, and those will get you these two files. So now we'll go ahead and proceed to the second part of flashing. So go ahead and um, disconnect the device from USB storage, unplug it, and shut it down. Now you're going to want to plug the device into download mode once again. So, of course, hold down the buttons here and plug in the USB cable while holding them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click the volume up button to continue as before. And you will see a screen that says downloading like before. So go ahead and open Odin, and if you already have something in here, or if you have it open from flashing the stock ROM, you can just go ahead and click reset down here. And once again, click the AP button right here. Scroll down to the recovery clockwork 6.0.3.1 hercules.tar file, and select open. Click start, and just wait, it'll take a couple of seconds. Alright, you can go ahead and unplug it, and before it starts up, hold down the volume up and volume down buttons once again. And when you see the Samsung logo, you can release them. So just wait a little bit, and you will now be greeted at Clockwork Mod Recovery. So the first thing you're going to need to do is scroll down to Install Zip from SD Card, press the power button, use these buttons to scroll through as I said before. Um, go ahead and choose zip from SD card. Scroll down to your KitKat folder if you made one and flash the recovery Hercules 6.0.4.3 zip file. And go ahead and do that. 
All right, it's done. Go back and reboot system now. Now, once it shuts off, hold down these two buttons again. Till you see the Samsung logo. You may have to hold down the power button also. If it vibrates a ton, just release the power button. Alright, now you can release the buttons here. And wait. Alright, and you will be back on the Clockwork Mod recovery screen, except this time it will be version 6.0.4.3. So now what you're going to want to do is scroll down to Wipe Data, Factory Reset. Go down to Wipe Cache Partition. And lastly, or actually second to last, go to Advanced and Wipe Dalvik Cache. Go back, and lastly, go to Mounts and Storage, and Format System. Alright, now go to Install Zip. Install Zip from Storage SD Card 0. Scroll down to your KitKat folder once again, if you made one. And flash the CyanogenMod 11 ROM. Now this will take a little bit of time, so just wait. does take quite some time, like I said. Alright, so once that's finished, you're going to want to go back up here to choose zip from SD card or storage SD card 0. Scroll back down to your KitKat folder if you made one and install the gapps package. Now this will take quite some time as well, so just wait. Alright, so once that's done, go ahead and select Go Back, Go Back Again, and Reboot System Now. Alright, and as you can see, it is now booting CyanogenMod 11. So this will take quite some time to boot for the first time, so I'm just going to go ahead and resume the video once it's done booting. Alright, so as you can see, my device has now finished booting and is working just wonderfully. Now, I already went through the setup. It did give me a quick setup when I first booted it up, but I've finished that now, of course. 
and the device is working perfectly. So as you can see, we are indeed running Android version 4.4.4 KitKat. So there's a little KitKat Easter egg. So yeah, that is how to install Cyanogen Mod 11 on the Samsung, or the uh, T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S2. Hope you enjoyed this video.